You know, Dr. Beckman uh, invented the pH meter, uh, at least his version of the pH meter in the mid-1930s. And that uh, had an impact, of course, in chemistry and biochemistry. But his real, uh, real big winner was the Beckman DU. Uh, that, uh, that made a real qualitative change in how you could do things uh, because uh, organic chemists and biochemists really had no way uh, to look at ultraviolet spectra where uh, biological and organic compounds all absorb. And so to do analytical work on biological compounds and organic compounds, you needed a spectrometer that would go into the ultraviolet region. And Dr. Beckman invented that, the, the DU, the so-called quartz spectrophotometer. Uh, his whole philosophy was that, you know, if, you, if you'll make new instruments and new methods, uh, it'll have a big impact on across all of science. And uh, that's the way science advances, it's through new, new technologies. And that's what he showed in the pH meter and the DU. And all of his instruments were things that supported fundamental research. I met Dr. Beckman in 1967. When I went to Caltech, he came to a talk I gave with his wife. He and Mabel came to a talk I gave. I'd forgotten what the talk was on, but after the talk, they both came. He was chairman of the board at Caltech at the time. Came down front, and uh, his wife, Mabel, liked my talk. Uh, she said she didn't understand it, but she liked the way I. <laughs> but I was very enthusiastic and liked the way I presented it. And so, so Arnold sort of uh, nodded his head and I knew that we were going to bond. Uh, and we did. And my wife and I uh, met with Dr. Beckman, his wife, uh, regularly for uh, how many years uh, until he passed away in 2004. Uh, we, would, we would see them almost every week. Uh, I had worked with Dr. Beckman on a number of projects, and uh, uh, one involving rebuilding the chemical synthesis labs at Caltech with an instrument uh, sort of program. And he liked what we had done there. He liked the labs, and he liked what we'd done with matching money and so on. So he encouraged me to encouraged me to present him with a much bigger project that he could think about. We came up with the idea of resource centers, where we would build a resource center that would develop new technologies and new instruments in different areas, like materials, lasers, um, uh, mass spec. We built those up and developed new instruments and new methods, and he really liked that. And that's what the cal Caltech Beckman Institute is all about. It's, a, it's an institute that's really very technological and uh, supports a lot of basic research all through the campus. He wanted to give back, and he did give back, uh, as he said, to you know the folks who had supported him and bought his instruments, and he wanted to give back uh, uh, to all the scientists, and he did, uh, in terms of all these programs and buildings and institutes. <laughs> I mean, his impact is just, uh, it's, it's, it's so big you can't measure it. It's, uh, Beckman, the Beckman family is, of uh, folks who have benefited from Beckman all over the world is huge. You know, there are hundreds of Beckman scholars, alums, there are hundreds of Beckman young investigators. I think every place you go, you'll find somebody who's had, been impacted by Arnold Beckman.